this lecture we are going to learn how can we make use of separate rooms for chatting with uh, different people okay on this whatsapp platform that we developed in the previous lectures so i'm going to create three different profiles first Now if suppose Daksh want to talk to Gaurav, he need to search for his profile first. Where is Gaurav's number here? So this is how he can search for Gaurav's profile, right? Now if suppose Daksh want to talk to Gaurav, let me just open a notepad file. So if Daksh wants to talk to Gaurav, so he need to assign him a room out of these four that I have defined over here. So let's assign him room number one. So right now Daksh is using room number one for talking to Gaurav. Okay. Likewise, if Gaurav wants to talk to Daksh, he can make use of any of the rooms. So first of all, he need to search for Daksh profile. This is the number which with, with which we created Duck's profile, right? So it's visible over here. Now let's allocate him a room. So now what Gaurav has done? Gaurav have made use of room number one for talking to Duck's. Fine. Now let's come on this window and send a message to Gaurav. Let's see whether Gaurav will be able to receive the message or not. So Gaurav received the message successfully. Likewise, Daksh can also send a message to, sorry, Gaurav can also send a message to Daksh. Let's see whether Daksh will be able to receive the message or not. Yes, he is able to receive the message. Let's see whether we will be able to receive this message sent by Daksh to Gaurav. So we are able to receive the message here. Okay, likewise, they can talk to each other using room number one. Now let's come back and search for Kiara's profile over here. So this is the number with which we created Kiara's profile. This is Kiara's profile. Okay, now Daksh has already allocated room number one to Gaurav. Okay, in order to chat with him. Now... Let's do one thing. Let's assign room number two to Kiara. Okay. And here, let's search for Duck's profile. So we need to make use of this number with which we created Duck's profile on this platform. Sorry, not this one. Yeah, this is the number with which we created Duck's profile. Now, as Kiara has not uh, used any of these four rooms, he can make use of, uh, you know, she can make use of room number one for now for talking to Duck's. Now, let's send a message to Kiara first. Okay, right now Kiara is using 
Kiara is using room number one for talking to Daksh, right? She's using room number one for talking to Daksh. Let's see whether she'll be whether uh, you know she will be able to receive the message here or not. So she is able to receive the message here. Now let's reply to this message. Let's see whether Daksh will be able to receive the message here or not. So Daksh is also able to receive the message. So likewise, you know, they can talk to each other like this fine now let's come back so uh, you know Daksh used room number one for talking to Gaurav let's now search for Gaurav's profile here let's now come back on Gaurav's profile and check out sorry this is not Gaurav's profile this is a one okay now let's see whether we'll be able to see the chat the previous history, uh, the conversation that took place between Daksh and Gaurav in room number one. So everything is here. Okay. Kiara, Kiara wants to talk to Gaurav. Okay. If suppose she wants to talk to Gaurav, what she can do, she can, she has to first search for the profile of Gaurav. Likewise, Gaurav has to also search for the profile of Kiara. And now as Gaurav has already made use of room number one for Daksh, so now he, uh, he has to made, make use of room number two in order to talk to Kiara. Uh, similarly, Kiara has to make use of room number two for talking to Gaurav. Let's see whether we'll be able to receive the message here on this window or not. So we are able to receive the messages. Okay, so likewise, they can talk to each other. Now, if suppose Kiara wants to, uh, you know, check out the history or she again wants to talk to uh, Daksh, he, she needs to type his number here with which he registered his profile on this platform and when she will come on this room one she'll be able to see the previous messages also which she had sent to Daksh okay and which which she received from Daksh so that's what we are going to learn today how can we make use of how can we create virtual rooms in order to uh, talk to uh, you know uh, different people so let's dive into the code.org platform and see what I have done. I have made use of four different labels. You know, this one, two, three, and four that you're seeing over here. I have made use of four different labels, defined four different labels. The name of this one is room one. The idea of this one is room two. ID of this one is room 3 and the ID of this one is room 4. Now, uh, yesterday we were done with discussing the code till this point. Let me just reduce the size of this window so that the code can be more visible to you guys. So yesterday we were done with... in yesterday's lecture I told you how can you make use of these variables right for generating dynamic uh, input boxes now the change that I have made in my code 
the first scene that i made is you know instead of going on the window by clicking this name to button instead of going on this uh, on this window screen 4 by clicking this wind uh, this uh, id name to the the user has to now click on this room 1 okay when this user will click on this room 1 automatically you know all the information is going to get fetched uh, from this uh, page this is screen 2 and the user is going to get redirected on screen 4 which is actually acting as room 1 right now fine now after that you know these variables will come into play and then send then this is a coding for send button this is a send button and this is the coding for the receiving button fine so we are done with discussing all these things so i haven't made any changes in uh, this coding part now in order to create room number two what i have done i have copied this whole code right from here till this point till this point okay back button i have copied everything and i have pasted it here as you can see okay i have made use of it here in order to create room number two in order to define the code for room number two now this is the code for room number two when the user will click on room number two he is going to get redirected on screen five okay and all the information that is get that is getting reflected over here is going to get fetched up on room number in in these components okay now besides i have changed the name of the variables also earlier for room number one the variables that i have used were z x and y so the value of z is 70 the value of x is 1 and the value of y is 101 now these two components x and y x i was using for generating the dynamic input boxes for this receiving button right when the user will receive uh, any message so a dynamic input box is going to get generated automatically the id of which will be uh, you know the result of the value of x it will be based on the value of x similarly when the user will send anything to some other person a dynamic input box is again going to get generated the id of which is based on the value of y right so what i have done is i have changed the variables to c a and b besides i have changed the value of a and b also okay why because you know the user already has the user already have a dynamic input box with this id uh, that is 1 and 101 on the platform so we require we are required to assign a new user id uh, a new id to a new dynamic input box that's that will get generated when the user will hit this send five button okay this is again a new send button and this is a new receive button on this screen five what i have done i have just this is a screen four i came on uh, you know design panel and i selected screen 4 from this drop down and i duplicated the screen in order to create screen 5 okay so that's how i created screen 5 and after that individually i have given separate names to all these components over here which i am using for communicating my things to the other person okay for chatting purpose 
this is the only change that I have made. The value of C is going to remain the same because it is not affecting the IDs of the component. It is affecting the size of the component. Okay, so the value of C is going to remain the same and you know this way we can increment the value and this is the way we can you know this is the whole code that I have made use of for resolving the issue resolving the problem okay that I had given you yesterday now let me just show you the whole code right from the top so this is the whole code that you're seeing right now this is for screen one this is when the user will hit the search tab this is a code when the user this is a code which is going to get executed when the user will hit the search tab this is a code the you the uh, compiler is going to execute when the user is going to hit this screen three fine uh, now after that he is going to come on screen 2 where he need to search for the profile using the search tab over here and after that when he will hit this room 1, no, room one option he is going to get redirected on screen 4 right so this is a separate room in which he can the user can communicate his things to a person these are the three variables I have used and this is a coding for send button that is there on screen 4 and we do, we are not we do not want this variable i because we haven't used it anywhere so we can eliminate it from the work workspace okay fine so this is the whole code that I have used for uh, you know uh, different components I have defined on screen 4. Likewise this is the code for room number 2 that is when the user will hit this uh, this uh, label 2 that is room number 2. He is going to get redirected on screen 5 first. Okay, now here I have made use of three different variables. As I have told you, this is the code for the send button over here. And this is the code for the receiving button. Okay, so you just have to copy and paste. Once you are done with creating one room, you will be able to create the other rooms also. Fine. So this is it for today's lecture. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you 